What's going on everybody? We're gonna do things a little different today. Instead of reacting to music, we're gonna take the time to check out the UK. I actually know nothing about the UK, even though I've been reacting to UK hip hop for the last year or so. So let's check it out. Top 10 facts about the United Kingdom. All right, guys, be easy on me. Hey, and welcome to Top 10 Facts about the United Kingdom. Number 1 The Queen of the United Kingdom is the legal owner of one-sixth of the Earth's land surface. Wait, what? They're not going to explain any of these facts? Hold on. Owner of one -sixth. She's the owner of one-sixth of the earth's land whoa 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 <laughs> did they just say she owns one sixth of the whole earth how how in the hell does she own that i know johnny depp owns one island she owns that much good god all right all right I wish they would elaborate a little bit on these facts, but I think this is going to be a quick video. The Queen of the United Kingdom is the legal owner of one sixth of the. Oh, and time out, guys! Somebody's got to let me know down in the comments how you get your like your political system work, how, how your like your democratic government works or anything, because like is the queen in charge or is the uh, prime minister in charge? I don't understand because we have a president over here. What is the deal with the queen? Like, does she run things or does the prime minister? If any of you guys could help me down in the comments, let me know what in the world that's all about. Number two. Number two. The UK comprises of four countries, England, Northern Ireland, Scotland, and Wales, and 14 overseas territories. Holy shit. That's how she owns one six of the freaking Earth's land. Good God. All right, I need to know about all these, these territories also. Each country has its own system of administration. Number three. Kate Middleton is credited with boosting the UK economy by one billion pounds in 2012. Wait, what? All right, they're, they're, they're like passing these facts by way too fast. How in the world is she credited with boosting the economy at all? Like what? I don't know you guys like I hope there's a lot of comments down here trying to t explain these facts because this this uh, video is doing a very poor job at elaborating they're just stating a, a vague in my opinion a vague fact and not giving any details about it so I'm hoping you guys will help me out down in the comments and uh, fill in the missing pieces that this video is leaving behind Number four. Number four. <clears throat> There's On Queen. the 9th of September 2015, Queen Elizabeth II became the longest reigning UK monarch ever, surpassing Queen Victoria. How old is that chick? Number five. The Keep Calm and Carry On slogan was originally dreamt up as a way of preserving morale in the event of a Nazi invasion of Britain. What kind of bullshit slogan is that? Keep calm and carry on. <laughs> in an event of a Nazi invasion of the UK. So if the Nazis are killing your family and friends, just keep calm and carry on. Okay, wow. I wonder if that would have helped boost morale. I doubt it. Of Britain. Number six. British people drink 165 million cups of tea every day. Every day? When you guys say tea, do you mean like sweet tea? Like that I drink every day at McDonald's and Bojangles? Or do you guys, is it like coffee? Is, is coffee the same as tea over there? 
165 <clears throat> million cups of tea. If that, if that is talking about sweet tea, 165 million cups of tea per day. If that means sweet tea, there's a lot of sour stomachs every day in the UK. Because if I drank a little too much sweet tea, my stomach feels like crap. No pun intended. Every day. Number seven. There is only a 34 kilometer long gap between England and France. All right, wait, time out. Kilometer. I'm always kind of fuzzy about the conversion between a kilometer and a mile. Is a kilometer a like, like 1.5 miles? I may be wrong. Or is a mile like 1.5 kilometers? I may be wrong about the distance in general. I think this is 10 facts. Uh, <laughs> I need 10 comments from each person who is well versed in these facts. Explaining each one, please. All right. There is only a 34 kilometer long gap between England and France, and the countries are connected by the Channel Tunnel. Number eight. The name Big Ben does not refer to the famous clock. Oh, I learned this off Peppa Pig. My kids watch Peppa Pig all the time. The clever clocks. Big Ben is, he told the queen, Big Ben is not the clock, it's the bell in the tower. Big Ben is the bell, not the tower. You know a lot for a little elephant. I'm a clever clogs. It's the bell. Big Ben is the name of the bell, not the clock. But actually to the bell. <laughs> Thank you, Peppa. <clears throat> Number nine. London was the first city in the world to have an underground subway system. Okay. Good to know. Number 10. There have been over 10 reported sightings of Nessie entering around Loch Ness in Scotland. Oh, the Loch Ness Monster. 10 sightings of the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland? Hold on. There have been over 10 reported <clears throat> sightings of Nessie venturing around Loch Ness in Scotland. Now, do you guys believe in the Loch Ness, the Loch Ness Monster over there? Crazy enough, I kind of do. I believe there's things in the sea that we it would blow our freaking mind. I know that's not the sea, but I think there's underwater creatures that we're just not aware of and i believe in the loch ness monster so you guys let me know if anybody knows anything special or you know something i might not know about the loch ness monster or any of these very vague facts in general let me know down in the comments i would greatly appreciate it i believe that's it guys it's a very short video <clears throat> Alrighty, that was top 10 facts about the United Kingdom. Started this video wanting to learn a little bit more about the United Kingdom, although I did learn a little more. I'm hoping you guys fill me in on the missing pieces, like I said. <clears throat> if you guys have any suggestions of videos that I need to watch that'll inform me a little bit more about the culture or facts or laws about the UK, let me know, man. Appreciate you watching. I'll catch you next time, guys. Thanks.